In substitution problems like this one, I like to start by putting parentheses around each of my variables. This way, I can see what needs to be substituted, what's left behind, and what operations are really going on. And then I'm going to rewrite this problem, taking out the variables but leaving the parentheses. If you see, everything here is identical to what was in the original problem. I've just taken out the variables. Everything else is the same. Now, anywhere there was an x, I can now substitute a 3. And anywhere there was a y, I can now substitute a 5. It looks like all of my parentheses have been filled. So now we can start to simplify using our order of operations, or PEMDAS, which means we need to start with parentheses where there's actually an operation inside the parentheses, such as right here where we have 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is going to give us 7, and then we can bring down the rest of our problem. And so after that, we would deal with exponents, but I don't seem to have any in this problem, so we can go straight to multiply and divide. I do have a couple of multiplication pieces here. I have 3 times 3, and... We have 5 times 7, which is going to give us 35. Then we can go to our addition and subtraction. And remember, we want to do them as we see them from left to right. So even though the A comes first in PEMDAS, if the subtraction comes first in the problem, we do that first. So that's going to leave me with 2 plus 35, which will give me a final answer of 37.